structured outputs turn chaos into clean data instantly using OLAMA. Turn the response from any large language model to a structured output format like JSON using OLAMA. Three game-changing powers. Parse any document into perfect JSON, extract data from images automatically, structure all LLM response with precision. Imagine waking up tomorrow, no manual data parsing, perfect JSON every time, automated image analysis, your data structured and automated. Transform your workflow. Previously, it requires hours of manual parsing, inconsistent formats, error-prone process. But today, instant JSON output from a large language model, perfect structure and 100% reliability. With just three simple steps, define your schema, pass your data and get clean JSON. But what is the advantage? In simple terms, for example, you don't need to fill any forms. You just type a natural sentence or statement. So this is a pet management dashboard where you enter the cat named Luna who is five years old and loves playing with Yon. She has gray fur. And if I say add pet to my pet management system, it will automatically add with clear passing of data such as type cat name Luna age five years old and color gray. So no more forms to fill. It's just plain text. And the large language model will take care of the rest because we got structured output. And I'm going to teach you how you can build a system like this, provide as much data as you want. It can just talk to the Flask API in the backend and it extracts the data using OLAMA with the defined structure. We'll be seeing about a complete development pipeline. First to extract JSON from unstructured input, then extract JSON from an image, then create API, then use that API to create a user interface. When you pass the unstructured data, enter into the user interface, automatically that will be sent to the large language model. That is the AI running Llama 3.2 using OLAMA. Then the unstructured will be converted to structured, save that in the database, and that information will get displayed in the user interface. Even if you're an absolute beginner, you should be able to create this. And I'm going to take you through step by step and we'll provide all the code in the description below so you can just copy and use it. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. Now first, extract JSON from unstructured input. First, pip install Olama, Pydantic, Flask, Flask cores and OpenAI. Olama and Pydantic is for initial parsing. Flask and Flask cores is for API. In regards to OpenAI, this is optional. If you don't want to use Olama Python package, you can also use OpenAI Python package instead. So after this, click enter. Just go to olama.com and download Olama. Then Olama pull Llama 3.2 in your terminal to pull the latest Llama 3.2 model and Llama 3.2 vision to pull the Llama 3.2 vision model to analyze images. Now let's create a file called app.py and let's open it. Inside the file from Olama, import chat, then base model from Pydantic, now we are going to define a class called pet. So this is the data which I want to extract. As an example, we are going to create this pet management platform where you provide unstructured data here and it automatically extract in the structured format and store that in the backend like this. So from a pet, we need to extract the name of the pet, animal, age, color, and favorite toy. So that's how you define the structure. Then class pet list. That is the list of pets. Then response equals chat. That's where you provide the unstructured data. So here it is. I have two pets, a cat named Luna, who is five years old and loves playing with Yon. I also have a two year old cat named Loki who loves tennis balls. So let's see how this unstructured data is getting converted to structured data so that we can use this in our application. Now calling the model validate JSON and then printing the pets, that's it. So just three simple steps. Define the structure you want to extract provide the unstructured data to Llama 3.2 model. And here is the format to extract. Finally, model validate JSON. That's it. Now I'm going to run this code in your terminal, Python app.py and then click enter. And here is the response. Pet list. Totally two pets identified from the unstructured data. First pet name is Luna, cat, age five, color gray, favorite toy, yarn. Second pet, Loki, cat, age number two, black, and tennis balls. That is really nice. 
Now it's very easy to create any application. So a large language model will be running behind an endpoint to make your application AI powered application. Next, how to extract JSON from image. And here's the same code with slight modification. So the model which I'm going to use Llama 3.2 vision model and I modified the prompt saying that analyze this image and identify all pets present. And finally, it will return all the response. So I'm running that function here and then just printing the response. That's it. Three changes. Llama 3.2 vision model change, prompt update, and finally printing the response. Now I'm going to run this code. So here's the image path, pets.jpg. And here are the pets, different dogs with their name on it. So in my terminal, python pet.py and clicking enter, analyzing image for pets. And here is the output, found eight pets in the image. First one, Nutella, then the second one, third one, totally eight dogs found. And also you can see the name matches correctly here. That is really nice. So the unstructured data could be a text or it could be an image. Now third, let's create an API so that we can run this application behind an endpoint that is behind a URL. So when you call a URL or open a URL and provide unstructured data, it should return structured data. Again, made a slight modification. I've imported Flask as you can see here. That is the package which we are going to use to create endpoints, API endpoints. And we've got the same structure as before. So here is the endpoint slash pets. So whenever we post information, to this URL slash pets, then it will automatically get the description or the unstructured data which we posted and then extract pet information, same as we did before, and finally return the response after adding to the database. As simple as that. Just defining the URL endpoint slash pets, getting the data, unstructured data, extracting information, saving that in a database and returning that response. Now I'm going to run this code python api.py and then click enter. Now you can see it's running in this URL and I'm going to open a new terminal and as an example, curl command. So you can see the URL I'm using slash pets and then providing the unstructured data. So here you can give as much data as you want. So instead of filling all the form, we're just providing the unstructured data with all the information and then clicking enter. And here is the output from the large language model. It extracted the age, the animal that is cat, the color gray, favorite toy, and the name. Also, this got saved in the database. So now it's just the matter of showing this data in the user interface front end. That brings me to the final point, creating the user interface. Now I went to Claude.ai and there, here's the task I'm providing. Create a UI with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript in one page, modern design. So this is what we typed and this is the response. So in the user interface, when I enter some data in one field, that is the unstructured data, it should automatically parse and display beautifully on the screen. That's what it all means. And this automatically created a HTML, CSS, JavaScript combined file. And here's the file. So I copied and pasted in index.html. And here's the code. And you can see that it's calling slash pets endpoint. And now I'm going to open this index.html in my browser. So either you can double click on it or I'm just going to say open index.html and then click enter. And here is a beautiful interface, which we have already added these two information. I can even remove that as you can see here, removing the second one and it's all gone. Now I'm going to add unstructured data. Unstructured data here, a cat named Luna who's five years old, loves playing with yarn, she has gray fur and add pet. And you can see pet added successfully and you can see the pet information here. So that unstructured information got converted to structured data stored in the database and finally you can see it's getting displayed here that is really nice i can even add more a dog named tiger with four years old add pet now a dog got added this is just a basic example but you can extend this from here and make a full-fledged application using olama structured output and llama 3.2 large language model i'm really excited about this Considering you already like this, I've also created another video in regards to Olama, which is about Olama function calling or tool call, which I've explained step by step in another video, which I highly recommend for you to watch and I will see you there.